everyone, welcome back to The Pin Man. I'm Mike West, and today our special guest is the... Zebra Zensations Fountain Pen. The Zebra Zensation Fountain Pen is one of the under $5 fountain pens that I've been reviewing. I have one more uh, to do. But this fountain pen uh, was a, a nice surprise uh, for me, like the uh, Platinum Preppy, as well as the Pilot uh, V-Pen, Varsity, uh, all these pens. Uh, now, I did the, my last review was on the Zebra V301, and it was not a, uh, I, I did not give that much of an acclaim. But this, uh, the Zebra, the Zebra uh, 3, the Zebra Sensations, is a uh, really nice under $5 fountain pen. Okay, so we are going to transition to some measurements, uh, colors, a tour of the pen, size comparisons, writing samples, and all that good stuff. And I will see you on the other side. Okay, now for a tour of the Zebra Zensations Fountain Pen. All right, we'll come in a little closer here. You have this, uh, obviously the, the whole body is injection molded types of, a type of material. All right, for under $5 pen, that's what you can expect. And these types of pen all, pens also have this little wrap that comes around them. And the construction of this pen really reminds me a lot of the Varsity in slash V pen. You have uh, a different kind of clip though, and I like this clip. It's a, uh, you know, it's got some grip to it. There's a little, uh, little nub right in there that should aid in keeping it clipped but it does sit securely right there on the, uh, to the cap itself. But yeah, that's kind of a cool little, cool little clip, nice color coloring in there. And you can see it just rounds up there. And then on the other side, I left the tag on just so you could see it. So you come around and again, uh, Cool, cool looking clip there. All right, then you come over here and you have this cool body. And then swing it up here, you have the body finial. And there's, that's an open uh, cap there. So there's no way, uh, you know, this whole, this little section here is a separate section, I believe from the rest of it. So it's just a hollow a piece there and you open it up is a nice nice little click tight not too tight you open it up and again the uh, the grip section and the feed and all is very very similar to the pilot varsity and the v-pin uh, even even the nib looks very similar the only thing different is the pilots have a couple of wings that come out here, but that may be if they bent this, as you can see there, there's a uh, little pointed piece there. If they bent it up, that would kind of be the same thing as the wing. Had no problems with flow right out of the box. Uh, obviously this is a, an what you would basically refer to as an eyedropper. In other words, it's just got, there's no cartridge. You technically cannot refill these pins, but if, uh, if you have the same success, I'm kind of wondering if you'd even be able to do it with the, with this Zebra, because on the pilots, I know some people have been able to remove this, uh, the, the feed 
out of there. You know, they kind of twist on this and, and it'll come uh, come loose. But the, the end here tapers down on this one. So I don't know. And if it's tapering down, you're not going to be able to get it out of there. So, you, you know, if you separated this part, yeah, you could push it through probably, but I don't know that you could. Nevertheless, these these pins have, uh, I don't know the tech specs, but they do, they are going to have a lot of ink capacity. So you're not going to run out of ink anytime too soon. Your ink, it does have, you can see right here, uh, some, of the, some of the ink. See it sloshing around in there. All right, and then there's a window. There's an ink window right here, just below or above that writing. In fact, you can, it says ink level and then made in China, of course. So let's see. Let me slosh that a little bit, see if that helps any. But the ink window goes all the way up to about here. And uh, that's pretty cool. So on the other side, there's probably some open area too, so you can see a little bit better. It, the pin fits very well in my hand. And as you can see, it's plenty long enough to use this unposted, but it will post. And it will post securely. Um, not a lot of air uh, extension up here. But, uh, and being plastic, you really don't notice it, the weight, it's not back weighted. Uh, however, it does, you know, kind of stick up. Now with the clicking mechanism, if you'll notice on the cap, let me get this up here, there's some um, facets right there. But as we pointed out in some other pens, that's just a, uh, kind of hold the pin clicking mechanism and so forth. But you can see this enter inner sorry seal right there. And then you can probably see the spring right there as well. So as you put the pin in there, you can see it spring down. And so that's going to seal uh, give you a good seal on this uh, pen. Now, again, there's your labeling. You can probably take that off. I don't know if it leaves any kind of, leaves any kind of nasty, you know, sticky stuff. That's what I hate about labels on pens, but thankfully they put it on the cap and not the body. Uh, so when you're using it, you're not gonna, you're not gonna feel it at all anyway. Okay, this pen just came uh, individually or in a Ziploc bag with some other under $5 pins that I ordered. It uh, will come in, I have seen them in batch uh, packaging. So if you wanted to order the multicolor pack, uh, you, you can do that. Uh, in fact, I think I saw where they had like a 24 pack. So you'd have like maybe two or three uh, greens, two or three blues, etc. All right, there you have the tour of the Zebra Zensations Fountain Pen. And here we have the size comparison of the Zebra Zensations Fountain Pen with the Pilot Metro and the Lamy Safari and the Twisby Eco. Here they are unposted and posted. And now for a writing sample of the Zebra Zensations fountain pen. This is a medium nib, it comes with these. You can only get a medium nib. The color is some sort 
of green. This green actually reminds me a lot of Diamine's Apple Glory. So if you want to call it that, I, I, I like the green. I, I think it's nice. It's bright, but it's also deep. Um, so, and then as far as flow, flow is great. It's good. Uh, line variation. Uh, not very much. Uh, if you want line vari variation, if that's important to you, uh, you wouldn't want this. But you're not going to get one of these for a flex pin anyway, right? Let's see. Running increases brain power. No hard starts. No skipping. The flow is has been very well. What about reverse writing? Scratchy, but does it? I would say it does so as a extra fine. Maybe a maybe a fine, but I, I would classify this. In my opinion, extra fine, but it does it and uh, doesn't start running out. It does a good job, and it's really not reverse writing. It's not if you don't press down, you don't, of course, you don't have to. I mean, you it has some feedback, but it's not uh, annoyingly scratchy. And then the rest of the uh, this nib, I mean, good grief, I'm right here, I hardly feel the paper. This is great. Because when I get a fountain, I got into fountain pens because I wanted a smooth writing experience. I, I was tired of having to press down and my, my hands aching all the time when I have long periods of writing. So, but this, this pen really has some, um, is a great writer. You know, it's something where you can, you spend less than $5, I mean, and get a great writing pen and this is going to have ink to last you for a while long while so i encourage you i uh, fully endorse uh, zebra's pen it's a lot better than the v301 all that said i'm very impressed with this this under five dollar fountain pen it writes as good as any of my more expensive fountain pens and so in, in and so I am happy. All right, there you go. There is writing sample for the Zebra Zensations Fountain Pen. Hey, I want to thank you for taking time in your busy day to tune in to the Pin Man and to check out this this review and I encourage you to leave comments below that might not only help me to do a better job in reviewing uh, pins and pin related projects but especially to help other viewers uh, to know more about these products because maybe you have bought the pin based on my review or some others reviews and you have your own two cents to uh to throw in there hey we're all just trying to help each other out so thanks again and again be sure to all right and check out a couple of these other uh, videos that um, might be of interest to you i hope so all right thank you and have a great day